Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, the everyday non-expert here, and today I'm going to be going over the incentive variants that when I look them up on eBay, they're going above the ratio. The other ones are either at ratio or below. So if you can get these at ratio, you might be able to make a little money on it. This is not financial advice or investment advice on any type of comics or anything like that. And again, buy what you love, and if it drops, you won't be disappointed with it. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button and give me a subscribe. Click that notifications to all so you can see this, the FOC, what's coming out this week, and I also have some other stuff in the works, more than just comics. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. And the first one on the list is probably going to be the hardest one to get, and that is Something is Killing the Children, number one, eight print. And if we go over to eBay, sold listings, we can see 25, 30, so it's going for about 30 bucks, 35, 35. And the reason this is going for so much more is because in order to get it, you had to have gotten Berserker number one, and you get one of those cards, and then you have to get Berserker number two, which is generally underprinted. All of Berserker has been underprinted and allocated and everything, but I don't know if the number two is, it's just been the second prints or the later printings. So people are going to have a hard time getting this eight print, even if they have everything in order to get it. Uh, I plan on calling my comic book shop tomorrow, actually. Uh, it will actually be today when this uh, video is posted. And I'll probably post an update video on how you, exactly you can get something that's killing your children. Number one, eighth print. Just at least based on what my comic book store says. Other comic book stores may be doing it differently. But I'll at least update you with what mine says so you have some idea of what you could be facing. After that, we have Alien number one, second printing. This is the 1 in 25 Gleason variant. And this is this variant was my favorite variant with the green um, the first time around. But if we go look on eBay sold 34 53 49 for 1 in 25 incentive so again if you can get it for a round ratio go ahead and pick this one up after that we have the gi joe a real american hero number 280 and this is the 1 in 10 royal incentive variant and if we look over on ebay we can see sold copies about double ratio. So if you, again, if you get it for ratio or less, might be a decent pickup. And next we have Geiger, number one. This is the second print, one in 25 incentive. In my FOC, I mentioned, and I'm actually gonna put a card right here for my FOC for do actually today. DC obviously was due yesterday, so you won't be able to do that, but the FOC that was due today, um, I actually mentioned that this was probably my pick of the week, um, and that, uh, not in the FOC one I'm going to post, because that one, this is already, was FOC a while ago. I'm just saying, in my FOC I called that Generally, second printings, if there's an incentive, they go for higher. And now, we look over on eBay, double incentive consistently. So, I mean, and then that's, and then, what, we go to the, these ones, boom, 
you get over a hundred dollars to get one. That's what that's the thing. But yeah, so you can get this for ratio, or apparently even a little more than you might be gold. Next we have Black Widow number six. This is the one in twenty-five Raza variant. I love Raza variants. They're so awesome. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I'm just looking to see if it's a negative. Considered a negative one because her hair is negative with the background. But anyway, we look at this one on eBay, and you're looking at sixty dollars. 30, and that's comp sold, let's look at 60, this one's 36 and it's got bids, so, um, yeah, might be a decent little pickup, if can, again, if you can get it for ratio or less, and these last two are from Independent Comics, although Boom Studios is kind of taking over right now as the best uh, up there with Image, but Boom's putting up some really amazing stuff. And actually, Dan Moore is becoming one of my favorite um, artists, mostly because of his work on Power Rangers, honestly. But anyway, here's Once in Future, number 18, the 1 in 25 incentive variant. And go on to eBay, and you can see double incentive. And let's check the regular price for what they're going now. Double incentive. Well, bidding. And the last one is Modern Frankenstein number one by Heavy Metal. And this is a, uh, there's no image, I guess, but if the one in ten, at least on here, but you'll see on eBay. Here's the image, and it's currently going for double ratio. And you can see on there, no one even knew what the cover looked like. So, who knows? That is a number one from the uh, very independent uh, company. And we just don't know what this could do. Um, so, again, just like with anything, any of these other ones, buy at your own risk. And this could go up if the book's really good and people love it. However, I don't think it really will. If anything, I think it'll just go down. It's probably just double, a lot of things are double before, and then once they come out, then they can drop. But that's why when I talk about this, getting these books, I say if you can get it for for ratio or, or less, then that's the target, uh, at least for me. Um, and then, I mean, even if you can't flip it or whatever, you paid ratio for it, and uh, that's pretty good. And that's my video for the week regarding the incentive variants that seem to be going for more than ratio on eBay. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button and also subscribe to the channel. And again, switch the notifications to all so you can see this video, my FOCs, my other videos about what's coming out. And again, I have other stuff other than comic related coming down. Um, and also comment down below. Let me know what you think of the ones I picked up. How many of these do you think are going to drop after they release? How many of them do you think have even more likes to them? I'd love to hear from you down below. And also, if you want to, feel free to share this out and let other people know what incentives they should be on the lookout for. And thanks again for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and a great week. Enjoy your books, and I will talk to you later.